Welcome to this AliCAD tutorial on how to draw easily and accurately. Here we will discuss using geometry lines to construct a box. Geometry lines are your construction lines. They can be turned on and off, rubbed out or erased, and saved. Although you can see them on the screen, they do not plot out. If you have not already done so, check out our other tutorials. Select Geometry, Cross and you'll be prompted for the cross center point. We are going to position the geometry cross at a specified coordinate location using the move to coordinate function. Select tools, jumps, coordinate or press the U key on the keyboard. You'll be prompted to enter the coordinates to move to. Type minus 120 in the X coordinate box Press the tab key to move to the Y coordinate box and type 0. Press enter or click on the enter button and the cursor will move to the coordinates and the geometry cross will be entered. We will now construct a rectangle with sides of 30 and 40. Press the I key on the keyboard to jump to the geometry intersection. Press the page down key and AliCAD prompts move right and down how far. Type 30 in the first text box, press the tab key, and type 40 in the second text box. Press enter or click on the enter icon. Press enter a second time to insert the geometry cross in the required position. Hold down the shift key and press the page down key at the same time, and CAD automatically moves the cursor the last used measurements 30 right and 40 down. Do not enter this point. This was just to show you how to repeat the measurement quickly. We will now draw some parallel geometry lines, a specific distance from an existing line. Select Geometry, Parallel Line, and you will be prompted to indicate the entity to be copied. Use the Tab key to move into the text box and type in 150. Position the cursor as shown below and click. The parallel entity is drawn the indicated distance from the nearest entity and on the same side as you select. AliCAD continues to prompt you to indicate the entity to be parallel copied. Press the tab key twice to move into the text box and type 180. If you have not moved your mouse, then press enter twice and the parallel line is drawn. Or, if you have moved your mouse, Position it near the line to be indicated and click. Press escape or the space bar or right click and select quit to end the function. Select draw, rectangle and you will be prompted to indicate the first corner of the rectangle. Select tools, snaps, geometry intersection or press the shift and I key on the keyboard to change to the geometry intersection snap mode. This makes the cursor jump exactly onto the closest intersection of geometry lines when you click the left mouse button. Position the cursor near the geometry intersection as shown and click. The cursor jumps to the intersection and the first corner of the rectangle is defined. AliCAD prompts for the second corner of the rectangle. Move the cursor to the geometry intersection shown and click to accept the second rectangle corner. Press Escape or the space bar or right click and select quit to terminate the function. To turn off the geometry lines, go to geometry, switch geometry on and off, and the geometry will no longer be displayed. You can turn it back on using the same method. Remember that geometry lines will not be plotted. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Look out for our next tutorial and visit our website to find out more about AliCAD.